and we're, we're obviously very pleased. And of course, what's running through my mind is uh, Duquesne, UMass over there, um, Richmond, Villanova, Miami, all games where we've had leads in the second half. We, you can't say someone has a good team until they, they win consistently, but we're so close, you know, and we've done it without BJ, we've done it without Pookie today. I really think we have a chance to be good. Um, I know we do. You know, we've had big leads and we've had leads against good teams. We've had leads on the road. And, um, you know, today we held on a little bit better. Pipkins is terrific. Saul, Saul Peary's defense was stunningly good. Th this guy is, uh, he's really something. He's really something. I thought Saul, Saul shut him down. I really did. Then I look at the stat sheet and saw he had 25 and shot a decent percentage. That guy's just terrific. And Saul did a great job on him. And Saul played hard the whole game. He also had a 12-rebound game. We out-rebounded him by six. We didn't turn it over. So we did a lot of good things. I thought Amar played great. Oh my gosh, look at those stats. Eight for nine and 22 points and four assists and one turnover, only one darn rebound. Darn it, Amar. Hey, Amar, um, after last game, you only attempted two shots. Did you come in with a more aggressive mindset tonight? Yeah, um, last game I wasn't aggressive and the, the outcome wasn't good for our team. I knew that I need to be more aggressive for our team. And the coaches have been knowing me about me being more aggressive. So tonight, I tried to make up for that a little bit and try to be more aggressive this game. Yeah, yeah we ran some stuff early for him, and he finished. And uh, you know, Pipkins is Amar is a little bit of a size advantage, but Pipkins is a really stout, strong defender, and uh, Amar just really made some strong uh, drives to to score against a really good player. Felt like a game like this has kind of been brewing for you for a while. You had the game against Villanova. Just kind of one where you kind of put everything together, do you think? Yeah, this this game was a, a really good game for me and my team. They found a way to get me the ball. We found a way to get each other the ball. I think we had 17 assists. So when we share the ball like that, I think we're a pretty good team. For you guys, that senior group, after that four-game losing streak, was there anything you kind of said to the younger guys to kind of right this chip and try to kind of get you together? Yeah, we, we had a team meeting. We, we talked about what we needed to do right, what we, what we were liking then, and we just tried to bring it all together. Uh, our health has been a problem this year, so once we get a full team, we can really get uh, get the ship rolling. What, what's the goal to kind of finish out the season? Or are you taking more of a game by game approach? Yeah, I think yeah. we should take it game by game and not determine what our final record should be. Hey, John, you, you said before that you thought BJ was coming along. Yeah, uh, really pleased with him today. He's, he's further along again today. Yeah, and. Uh, you know, I expect him to be great, and uh, you know, I, I I still think he's he's got a little bit more to go to to play the way he can. But you know, he's obviously a terrific player, and he's obviously getting better all the time. But I, I actually think he can play better in terms of defense and rebounding. I think he's so athletic, and uh, once his conditioning gets a, a little bit better, I think he'll make even more plays. John, did you talk to Lamar after last game about? I, I didn't. You know, we've uh, he's too old for that, and uh, we just liked his matchup in this game, and we were going to go to him and make him be aggressive. We were going to call his number.